might take December down there, but that's fine. Sorry, man. I was he wasn't listening. Okay. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Anderson's TV. Well, I'm doing that, that's not mine. Now, <laughs> imagine if your dilemma was that you'd bought a really expensive guitar. Yeah. Like this one. Uh, this, this one or this one. Or maybe yeah. this one or this one or whatever. And you needed a really nice guitar amplifier to go with it. And it's a little bit money, no object. So we're not talking about, you know, Boss Katanas or Yamaha THRs or anything like that. But you don't want a Marshall Stack or a Fender Twin or a Vox AC30. You want no. something reasonably compact, play it at home maybe, little gigs, clubs, mm. in the studio, whatever. But it's got to be... Mm, mm, it's mm, got to be... Mm, mm, mm. Okay? Maybe you won the lottery <laughs> over the weekend. I don't know. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So here are five guitar amplifiers that are pretty sexy, right? Um, Pete's playing through a Fender Custom Shop Princeton Revert. <sighs> Probably the Torres. daddy of all yeah, little yeah, yeah. valve amplifiers. Yeah, did we do a video on that, didn't we? But I, think we I don't did, know about so what, the custom there. shop one. I don't yeah. think so. So that's hand wired custom shop. I've got a Magnatone Super 15, but I don't have the normal Magnatone Super 15, no. which you could buy for a similar price actually to the, the Princeton. I've got the Super Limited Edition gold with the Billy Gibbons thing on the back. It's like, and the gold lights and the lights in yeah. the top and the gold. So that's a Super on 15 it. Limited Edition goldy one. Then of course we've got the Tone King Imperial Mark II. Oh. Great little amplifier. Do, 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 20 do, do, watts do, do. built in attenuator, loads of different colors. Well, I say loads, like three or four different colors. Turquoise is the one. That's the one obviously, I Obviously, if you're, you know, want to make a statement. If you want a guitar to match. Hook. Dutch company, Hook. Made, not famous is the wrong word, but, you know, brought to our attention by the wonderful um, Paul Davids. Yeah. And then, and, then, uh, and then Daniel, uh, Daniel, Daniel Steinhardt. Steinhardt. Yeah. yeah. This is the big one. I say big one. It's the biggest physical size one that we've tried to date, but it's uh, 20 watts, so it's not big. 20 watts. Um, and then, you know, British loveliness, Hampstead. Yeah. Everything I at mean, 12 o'clock, you can see. It's, it's like uh, beautifully, it's beautifully engineered. Yeah. Again, little 20 watt amplifier. So smorgasbord of It's a smorgasbord of expensive tone. I'm sure there's other amps that could go in this category, but five is enough. For a video, I think. Well, you say thought. that. I mean, you're right. There's lots and lots of, you know, we could have looked at Boogie. We could have looked at, um, what other amps do we do? You know, I mean, you're yeah. right. Yeah. There's, there, there's, there's lots there's of other but, ones. But I'm sure people would go, how about this amp? Yes, you know. but this was five pretty gorgeous ones. Yeah. Right? Why, not? Um, why don't you take us through the Princeton? Yes, I will. I will. I will. Uh, Princeton 12 watts, uh, a 10 inch speaker. So not this is the only 10 inch we've got, and I think it's the lowest lowest wattage. Is this a 15? This is a 12. Everything here so, is between 15 and 20 watts. Yeah. So not too loud for the bedroom. Maybe it is. I don't know. Do you think? Not Maybe too that's too loud where... for the bedroom. Is anything? Too loud for the bedroom. Of a bedroom. That depends got, on it? what on your house, where the house layout <laughs> is, and neighbours. I, I think we should say with this, um, let's dispel the myth that 10 to 20 watt valve amplifiers are kind of like quiet little home use. You know, you still need a household that's happy for you to make a bit of noise, right? Yeah. It's pretty loud. All that, all that really happens when you've got these like 10 to 20 watt valve amplifiers is they just don't quite have the clean headroom that a 50 or 100 watt would have. Yeah. But they still make quite a bit of noise. Yeah, but they hey, do. Exactly. But this is, and, but and, noise and is good, yeah, right? But it's, that's when a master comes in really handy. So you've got a gain and a master, or a volume and a master. And some of these amps have it and some of them don't. And the this one, the Princeton, is one of those that don't have it. So you only got like uh, a volume, treble, bass, Reverb, and then you've got a lovely tremolo circuit here. There's spring reverb in this. Uh, Jensen, Jensen, Jensen's Jensen speaker in the back. And then you've got an input one, two, two is a little bit more sort of subdued. So if you yes. are playing at home, but you know, I'm running this on tr three, three. Uh, and with this Heritage um, 535, it's quite loud and pokey. So I had a bit of uh, delay on it. You, you might, amp, if, isn't it? Assuming it's in shot, uh, you guys might find this helpful. The, the little decibel meter in the corner, the, the one with the red flashing numbers on it, um, that'll give you a relative idea of the volume. Typically speaking, you can see when we talk, we register somewhere around about 65 dB. So like really quiet guitar is going to be in that sort of 60 to 70 dB yeah. kind of mark. So we're not achieving that. Anything between sort of 80 and 95 is I would still class as kind of you're still playing at it's home, but chat. you're you're playing quite loud. Yeah, ninety five 
and upwards goes into sort of, you know, jamming, rehearsal-y. Yeah, me crying. Know. Yeah, and then anything 100 and abovewards is like loud. That, yeah. in my, you know, in my opinion. But that's, it depends on where you are, because that's measuring behind us as well. So, you know, that's what I mean. I mean, in this front. room, yeah. when you see yeah. that hit yeah. 100 and upwards, then that's that's loud. That's right. Uh, so let's go back to the amplifier. Let's start with the reverb, because I love the reverb on this, because it is a Princeton reverb amp. So you would think it has good reverb, and it does. Here's at about five o'clock. <laughs> Classic, classic, cl start a classic tone. You know, you got treble and bass, and then the the, the the tremolo. So you want you want a minor, you want some minor stuff here. It's just a classic sound. I mean, if you don't, if you've never plugged into one of these, uh, this is of course the expensive version. It's about two grand. You can get them less expensive. Yeah. Um, the big, know, the bigger with this, but yeah, this is hand wired. If yeah. you go down the range, obviously you just go back to the traditional printed circuit board yeah. version. And they're worth checking out, I think, because they just they're just great amps. So just before I go to the Telecaster to just give you some cleaner tones, I'm just going to see if I can drive um, <sighs> input one a bit because you know. It doesn't so it's, go, it's, it's not of, a master volume amplifier. No, it's not so, a master volume. And it, but it is this classic, you know, this amp was used, and still is, but it was used all through the 60s and 70s by studio session guys all the time. Yeah. And it has got drive inside it, not not like martially drive. And because no. there's no master volume, it won't do quiet drive without a pedal. Yeah. But it's got, a, I think you'll even recognize the tone, you know, like, it's almost like a Larry Carlton vibe with a with a yeah, semi Beatles like that well, and, yeah, and a Princeton. But, but let's see, because and it goes clean to a certain loudness, and then mm. it kind of kind of starts to break up. It's you know, great. I'm just looking at the audio. No pedals. Yeah, I mean that is so that. But I, I kind of and feel six o'clock. I bet. I bet if I, you know, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it now doesn't go louder when I push it to ten. This gets more drive. So it See, doesn't it's, it's sound weird, go louder. It? You know, there yeah. was like, when I was a kid Oops. growing up, Fender amps always had a reputation that they were like a crappy drive sound and you had to have like a Marshall amp or pedals or whatever like that. But I, I think the Princeton, because it's low volume, I think it's, it's always one of the of best goes, sounding driven Fender amps and there the ten, is. And 10 inch speakers, well, helps mm. that. You know, I'm a fan of those 10 inch speakers because for some reason, the, the marriage between speaker and and uh, an amplifier in this particular uh, combination is just great. I really like it. You know, it doesn't need a 12. Yeah. Um, but anyway, let's just go telly just to see what we can do. What it does if you want to know the less... detailed specs of any of these amplifiers as well, hit the links below, dive on over to the website. Yeah. Um, Some nice shoes there, Lee. For, I got sent these by uh, the lovely people at Timberland. I don't know if yeah. I have to say this to uh, paid, paid mine, advertising. I don't, I, don't don't turn, I don't think they, they turned I up mine. I don't know oh, what it was. They, there, but they, they, they forget you at Christmas, Martin's did they? Did, yeah. But here's a, here's a, <laughs> here's a telly. It's still at three o'clock. I'm just going to put a little bit more treble on there. And... Uh, Classic, isn't it? Is this a good? So if we He's put a little so bit of so new, Leo huh? Fender just knew good guitar tone, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. 
This into this. No pedals, this into this. No pedals, it's just great. And, and to know. be fair, a Strat into that would sound great. Yeah, absolutely. Even humbucker guitars, which I know weren't really Leo's thing, you know, into that amplifier would yeah. sound great. He's, he's um, you know, it's good. Here's a, here's a Dane, a little bit. That's, I, the, oh. You know, I'm not going to try to again sell the Dane, but the, the Telecaster and the Fender amp. That's what it was designed. That's how we designed it with, the, with this Tele. Uh, it was a hot rod deluxe, but okay. So just with the boost as well. That's clean. Keep playing on this amp. I, I love these amps. It's a great it's amp. It's a great, great, it's a great, great, great amp. amp. I mean, in all fairness, as I End said, if, if, if two grand is, is is too much, then again, you can get the the regular yeah, exactly. uh, prints. And I think yeah. they do like a sixty-eight print. Yeah, a silver which is, face and a black face, and even comes in under a grand. Yeah. Anyway, look, right, magnetone. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to beat, isn't it? But it's a classic. They're, the, they're the, up against some hard. One hundred percent. You know, you, there won't be an album. Or, you know, there won't be a person watching this who hasn't probably got a favorite guitar tone from an album of the last 50 years that wasn't recorded yeah. using anyway, that, that. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, let's move over. Magnetone, oh, another uh, 112 combo now, 15 watts. Uh, American brand, but with a very British flavor on this kind of um, yeah. 15 watt one. Uh, you can actually get the black version of this without all the sort of gold trimmings for not a dissimilar price actually to the, the custom shop Princeton. Yeah. But the gold, with all the gold limited edition stuff, uh, this is the thick end of three grand. Yeah. Um, look at the design, man, with the lights and the little curvature yeah. and the, uh, you've got a little uh, chevron down here in the front, which somebody pointed out in the last video we did on the Magneton. If you want to watch up there, that's called a chevron, that little yeah. logo down there. And if there's one, there's one speaker in it and there's a two there's two speakers in it so i'll do a little bit on the Huge. les paul a little bit on a telly or something like that now out the box this doesn't have any reverb in it it's very traditional sort of you know <laughs> and again i've got the i'm actually i'm actually fairly loud on this i've got the gain and the master both around about one o'clock but you've got a master um but i have got a master yeah so if i take the volume down on the les paul Got such a Marshall-y kind of characteristic, yeah. that old sort of blues breaker kind of vibe where it's oh, cool, quite a bit more mid-range in there and it wants to go. Now I have just chucked a, a, T, a TC, a Strymon Flint through the effects loop. So we have got an effects loop on here. In fact, whilst we're talking about features, as well as an effects loop, it's got a load in here as well and a compensated output. So you can um, run this with no speaker attached to it yeah. and just a pair of headphones or into a desk or something if you wanted to. So that's kind of cool, right? Oh man, that sounds so that's, good, doesn't the it? The reverb's coming from a pedal now. Yeah. So yeah, across the, with the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> you can, I, I mean, I don't really do a very good Billy Gibbons impression, but you can kind of hear that sort of rock tone kind of yeah. wanting to come through. Play this a, is toss. a little bit more gunned on the preamp with the, the, the master down a bit. Yeah. 
You haven't now played that for a while, not, have you? I, I don't feel like I'm that loud. No, not, not. But it sounds No great, pedals. Great, Absolutely. How loud does how low does that go if you turn the ma the master down right, with that? Right, right. So, but with see. all the okay. So and then bit, I would take the gain down slightly. A bit de la fizz at that volume is. No, it's not necessarily, man. It's that's. That so if you turn that down great. slightly, really? If you turn that down slightly, and maybe you know. It's great I mean, for home. I mean, there's nothing wrong it's with not, that. It's at not all. a three thousand pound tone, but it's 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 there if you need it. Yes, at that volume, when isn't you it? start dialing that in, uh, the master, in there, and then it's like yum yum yummy. So if I now let's try it with, uh, I'll put a pedal on. Funnily enough, I I really like the Dane through this as well. So. <laughs> we just yeah. need a little bit less. Try this the boost side of the band, just the. Let's see. Oh, this is great, man. I it's love, a good amp, isn't I it? love that. Sounds a good amp. You know, it's a slight, slightly oversized 112 combo. Not on the edge of breakup. A little bit of volume. Well, yeah. more, more than a little bit. You know, Let's enough. Push it a bit. And then. It's just, it's, it's such a classic a magic, old sound. Magic, I, I kind of feel magic, again, you know, magic tone. We, we, you hark back to all those classic tones of the sort of the 60s and the 70s, blues breaker tones. Yeah. And it's all that, you know, there wasn't a bucket load of gain in the amplifiers, but there was a lot of volume. And that was where that kind of tone was coming from. Yeah, smashing um, the, the cones. That's a good sound as well. Hasn't got the big bass end that the Fender's got. It's a slightly different EQ curve, isn't it? If you... It's a bit more lower end than yeah. it, you know. That's more different, mid... Different kind of sound. But it I, sounds you know, From a gigging great, point of view. Man. Yeah, so if we go... You're loud, aren't you? Yeah. See, there's yours. Yours po pokes through more. Well, this has got more low Did end. Did you have right? a pedal on then? Yeah, that's it. You that's got the, the Dane. Yeah, okay, yeah. fine. So you had the Dane on, so I put the yeah, Dane yeah, on yeah, too, yeah, right? Yeah. So just to compare those two. I just. Oh man, I mean, th there isn't going to be a bad amp here, by the way. This is just no. purely and simply going to be which one do you like the best. Yeah. But there you go. So look, so we, uh, let's move the little on. Fender, the little Magnetone. Um, I've got to say, the black version of the Super 15, which comes out, as I said, very similar price to the Princeton, that is popular. Uh, yeah. I, I guess somebody who perhaps has a, you know, a apartment with gold taps and chandeliers and marble floors might go this is the amp for me though anyway mm, right let's, let's move uh on. Let's, let's change them on. around mm. right back in the room ladies and gentlemen and if you uh wanted any more information on the other two amps just click the links below subscribe on you down there hit the notification bell hampstead artist 20 
amazing amp. We've done, me and Rabir did a video on it, um, which you can see up here for yeah. review. Um, and we were very, very impressed then, and I literally just played, and I'm very impressed still. Such a great amp. It's it's humongous big clean tones. So yeah. there, there are two versions of the two. Is it a 20 a and a 60? 60. Yeah. Yes. I mean, the I mean, 60 is just oh my goodness. incredibly loud. Yeah. But this is... Head and cabs. The, the, yeah, heads and cabs. Good yeah. good spot. Uh, yeah. I like that. Actually, in fairness, I never said that about the Magnetone. There is a head and cab version of yeah. the Magnetone, so it, not of the Princeton. And also of that one. Yes, but, there is. Which is and, that one, and that one. And that one. So yes. Oh, so Fender. Back to, anyway, um, so you've got lots of stuff here. You've got attenuation in the back with two watts, 10 watts and 20 watts, I believe. Seven. seven, seven watts, two watts, 10 watts and seven watts, 20 watts. Uh, <laughs> you've got effects loops, two, seven and 20. Two, seven, 20, that's how many days there is in my year. And <laughs> Craig David. <laughs> Craig David. And then on the front here, uh, you've got, again, you've got a bright switch, which, no, let's start over here, high and low, it's also in the back, there's a high low gain setting. No. Yeah, there is, so you can go low gain, high gain kind of thing. Then you've got a bright switch, which has got three different settings. They're, they're kind of very subtle, but you can definitely hear they're there. You've got a gain, then you've got a, um, a, a bass and a treble with a voice switch here that you can flick on and off. Then you've got a reverb, which has got depth and tone, which you can also switch on and off here. A little bit light. Then you got a tremolo with depth and speed, and then in the end here you got your master, and then the green light. So that's it. But super well built amp in the UK. Um, they're not cheap though. None of these 2, are. Twenty five hundred quid, but Ooh. they're about. But it's just made. Everything's relative, beautiful. isn't it? Anything's relative. It's half, isn't it? half the price of a custom shop Les Paul. Or and I would say ten man, times the price of a Katana fifty. And I'm I mean, telling like, exactly, but I'm telling you, if you if you can afford to buy a custom shop, let's Paul, say six seven grand, at least you five. should at least five. You should buy one of these because you amp. want a need. You need the. It's just anyway. You know, the come field. on, anyway, Pete. So anyway, Tom, get your juices going. Yeah. Travel, of course. It sounds to me like a punchier version of the Fender. So a similar, like, yes, a similar kind of accent on the bass end and all that great. kind of stuff but just a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more thought through and updated modern style Does that, does that make yeah, sense? Maybe, yeah maybe yeah does that make sense? I love the fact that you've got a tone control on your reverb yeah, so you can cool. get that kind of um, especially with the tremolo You get the darkness of the of the reverb in here. Where's that bit of gain coming from? Is that the tremolo circuit? When you, or think, is that just because it's pokey pickups? I think it's just. I think it's pokey pickups. Um, I love the fact that the speed on the tremolo. It's very slow compared to the Fender because you think in the Fender tremolo it it. It always surprises me, anyway, that it doesn't go any slower. Yeah, it's very I mean, fast. Oh, come on, yeah. it's very mm. fast, even at the slower setting. Such a good amp, man. Can we, um, what's let's it see like the switch on its, here. On it's like two watt. So here's the gain in low mode. Okay. Gain in low mode. Gain in high mode. Let me 
just try to go in low here. A bit more subdued. Mm -hmm. I love these amps, man. I keep forgetting how good they actually are. We're, we're blessed, really, aren't we, in the in Andertons. There are so many good amps. It's there just... are. It's, it's incredible. It's just 20 it always, watts as it well. It always surprises me how quick guitar enthusiasts are to go and buy crazy expensive guitars. Yeah, but not and amps. This one's yeah, amplifiers. There's always that it's sense like, of, oh, just buy a guitar oh yeah, I don't, I don't need, you know, I don't need, the, you know, that. It's yeah. just like, well. I, mean, I just buy the T8R and then I'm putting plug, you mm. know, or whatever. I'm, I'm using a plug-in on my laptop. So. Yeah, it's like, yeah, no offense, because people do that and fair enough, you know, you're going to sit in the evening. Mm. But there's nothing like this sound. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing like... I suppose you it's do need just you need a, a little music room, don't you? Well, really? you know, here's the master. So, uh, you yeah, know. what was? What's this voice switch? Very subtle, yeah. but but you know, brighter and but a little bit, yeah. So let's that go. Second voice sounds a little bit more mid rangey as well. Yeah. So oh, so it's the it's it. you got three here, so there you go. Yeah. Two so what mode? Yeah, yeah. and mm. then <laughs> what are you going for here? That's it. Okay, I'm just there. You go here's it. Seven and then twenty. And that's the low gain. Um, quick swizz with the telly. Quick then. swiss with the with just a drive pedal. It's good, man. It's good. It's, it's... I keep forgetting how good these are. Okay, so Telecaster really quick because it's awesome. And that's when the clean tones... That is a great sound. So now we're moving over to the Tone King Imperial. This is an American brand, uh, originally designed by a guy called Mark Bartel, and more recently owned by the, 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 the family of uh, amp brands that uh, Friedman and... Uh, Moody. Uh, yeah, those guys come yeah. from Morgan, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, Morgan Friedman. Now, there are a few Solano. amps in the, the Tone King range, but the Imperial Mark II is outsells all the other ones, awesome. like 10 to 1. It's Probably of these five amplifiers here, the most popular one, believe it or not. Uh, I believe that. I can believe that. So it's two channels, right? So none of these other amplifiers, sorry, none of the amps we've tried so far are multi channel. The hook is two channels. So it's two channels. It has built in reverb, built in tremolo. Mm -hmm. But what separates this from almost anything else that we sell is it has the uh, an attenuator built in. And not just any old attenuator, but probably Tone King's. Biggest selling product of all is the Iron Man attenuator, yep. uh, which, if you're not sure, is designed to sit in between a valve amplifier and a cabinet where you run the amp hard and then you use the attenuator to drop the yep. volume. That's built into the back. So I'll show you that in a minute. It's amazing. It's a 112 amplifier. 
they have some famous users. I remember Anderson sold one of these to Mark Knopfler a few years ago or whatever, and I know he's <laughs> I've seen him in videos using it. Yeah. Um, he uses Kemper now, though, doesn't he? Does he? <laughs> he does live, you're he does. right. Yeah. Depressing. Anyway. Um... Whoa! Oh, hey, okay, hello. so. I've only oh picked, my goodness I, I, I me. may not do the whole demo on this guitar, I just felt because it's a turquoise amplifier, I needed something a bit and more. Like, like just... Oh man. I... What are you are saying? You, I'm just saying that reverb in this amp is also glorious. Off, everything about this amp is off the scale. It's... If turquoise isn't your thing, there's a cream one and a black one and a brown one as well, yeah. which look much more sort of, you know, vintage. But it's got this sort of Jetsons inspired 50s TVs, retro. TVs, the TV thing. Yeah. And they have the little one with the, with the dials on the side. So they did a purple one. I saw a purple one on the, uh, on the uh, purple head. On anyway, I've got the attenuation switched Naughty. off at the moment, so it's in its maximum volume, but... It's maybe got that slightly more tweed earlier Fender vibe to it, which is that slightly more mid-rangey, slightly more gainy tone to it than, slightly say, the blue. Hampstead. Yeah, this is um, much more modern, man, you know. Yeah, this is the, much more modern. It's in this tight bass end, right? I'm going to literally jump over to a guitar that you guys will be more familiar with for the rest of this Love demonstration. The yeah. yeah, the pink and the pink clashes a bit there, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> so I don't have any pedals on, I'm just using the guitar. So, rhythm channel, lead channel over here, which we'll come to in a minute, but we've got a tremolo circuit built in. Like Pete said, the speed goes way slower than a traditional Fender, yeah, so you get those it. big sweeping, you know. Reverb, more reverb. More, More reverb. reverb. Yeah, I just want to hear, because I remember this to be beautiful. It's just a... Do you know what? It's not as much... I think that had more, didn't it? But... Need anymore? It's it sounds yeah. great. So, yeah. lead channel. Okay, so now we've got mid bite tone and volume. Really old school Fender tweed kind of sound. You know, again, not not heavy gain, but. That's, the loudest, that's yeah. loud, right? That so is very here's loud. where the attenuator comes in. Attenuation. And it's a like a five position click Hashtag. on the back. Uh, so let's just step it down. So here's one down. <laughs> Hasn't really changed the character of the tone, it's just made it quieter, and that is ultimately what you want an attenuator to do. Yeah. I'm starting to feel like the speaker isn't moving as much now, so it is kind of changing the character a bit, but of course it's you still got the gain. And now we're, down to, now we're down to home use level. And I don't have any pedals on still, you know. What an amp. It's a great amp. I mean... So far, not a bad amp, really. No. I mean, wow. if, I, if I took the attenuation off now, we would be loud. 
Right, but I mean... Way too loud, that peaks. What else do you need? Two channels, it's actually not that heavy either. Two channels, built in reverb, built in tremolo. Even the attenuator is clever. There's, there's a way that you can decide that you, you can, there's a switch on the back that says, I only want it on the lead channel. I don't want it on the rhythm so channel. So you can switch over, you can have it as a, yeah. So you can, yeah, so you can still have quite like a solar boost. big headroom, clean sounds, but oh. then, a, then a lower, vol, you know, like a, a higher gain, but lower volume drive sound. It's such a good amplifier. It's, as I said, Epic. It's the it's the most popular one out of the five. Whether it's my favourite or not, I mean, it's, it probably is. Um, but uh, let me just very very quickly with the Telecaster, and then we'll very move on quick, to the hook. Very quickly with the Telecaster. Very quickly. It's just lovely. I mean, it just isn't it? sounds fine. Doesn't yeah. It? Again, I I think it's more vintage Fender. It's more tweedy. Holy moly, I mean again... Turn down, throw a pedal on the day long. The attenuator is so good. It's the, so good. The, the, the um, Tone it's King epic. sell the attenuator in two versions. A 30 watt version if you've got a smaller amp, 100 watt version if you've got a big amp. Yeah. They're not crazy cheap, uh, but it's so worth it if you've got a loud amplifier that you need yeah. to make quieter. the attenuator on like position two or three here and I can feel not I'm, I'm getting that compression that a pushed amp yeah. has yeah but not the volume which yeah. is again sort of it's what a, you want I would kick with that amp all day long absolutely a, a no million question. percent this this is I've, I've not plugged into one of these for ages the if you you guys might have even if you read all the guitar mags and posts and stuff you might remember that about a year ago uh, the boutique uh, factory had a massive fire yes um and lost a load of uh, production capacity yeah, for right. ages yeah. so we've just we've probably been out of stock of the imperial for over a year and it's just started to come back through again which Hallelujah. is amazing so yeah ah uh, what an amp it's got more amp. character hasn't it it's got more character yeah, yeah. Um, anyway one left one left just a hook why don't i why don't you do the hook and i'm going to keep the imperial and maybe we'll jam out at the end let's do that right so Hook Lee. Hook, line Hook. and sinker. Handmade in my country and uh, the, the <laughs> capital of the capital Copenhagen. Denmark, Amsterdam. Mm. Now these are handmade in Holland uh, or the Netherlands. Uh, this is a 20 watt amp, 6v6s, two channels with some clever switcheroonies where you can have like a switch where you can switch between the channels and then you've got a level, so you've got two levels up kind of thing. So you'll have like a level here and then you can boost. On the, the drive channel. The, on the drive channel with the, with the foot switch. And there's also a foot switch for the reverb. You can turn that on and off. I don't know why you would turn reverb up. Off. What? What kind of crazy what? person would do that? Super simple. So effects look yeah. in the back, warehouse speaker. As I said, handmade in, in Holland. Uh, we did a video on the other ones when, way back, but we did. You can watch that up there if you like. Yeah, this kind of, the, we've not featured the R series before. So no, the hook we, we started doing uh, last year, I saw Paul Davids had bought one and Dan Steinhardt <sighs> yeah. had one. Lenny. So the, li the, the the smallest amp in the hook range is the little Lenny, little single what? Uh, single what? Single channel amplifiers. Yeah. The crazy amp in the uh, hook range, which you know very few amp brands do, is one with uh, MIDI automation. So yeah. normal amp with normal knobs on it, Click. but that you save via MIDI, and all of yeah. a sudden you're watching all the knobs going. <laughs> very cool. Our series kind of sits in between. It's yeah. it's a bit. Cleverer than the uh, little Lenny, not as clever as the wizard. But let's yeah. have a listen, Pete, to its clean yes, channel. Uh, head and cabs as well, by the way. So clean channel here. Lovely reverb oh. in here, isn't it? Nice reverb. Reverb is there. Mm. 
is huge. That's a great sound, sound isn't it? For I mean, 20 watts. I like the the sort of the slightly larger, oversized kind of 112 cab. Yes. It al almost looks like it could be a 212, but it's just a 112. Um, yeah. And I think it gives that extra bass end. And I think Hook have gone for that slightly more modern Fender clean sound. So it's got the bass end, but the, the top end is warmer. Yes, it's a bit um, like the Hampstead, where a little it's bit a little more, bit like more that. contemporary in yeah. the sound, isn't it? But not with as many features as, as that. Anyway. Uh, oh, that's oh, a good <laughs> man. <laughs> so anyway, that was channel one, uh, bass, middle and treble, easy PC, one input, super simple. Channel two, gainy channel. We hit the 100 dB mark there. Didn't what? we? Yeah, I mean, and that's not, I'm not even, well, so, so with the level one here, so that'll be the first level, and you got the, when you use the foot switch, you can have that a little bit louder for your solos and things. So what, what's it like just a tiny bit quieter than that? Yes! <laughs> it's almost like... Very classic rock, isn't it? It is. Let's just quickly do. Uh... Lots of reverb. Sorry about that, but it sounds great, man. I, 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 it's a great little amp. That. Little, do you want to do a little, little like you know, a roundup of what you? Because I can't, I don't think I, I, oh no, you, yeah, let's go, let's, let's go humbuckers. I want to hear that drive sound with a humbucker. Yes, absolutely, Everything. absolutely. Here's the clean channel first. Oh, I'm reaching for the tone control here. See, that's a bit too, it's, it's quite dark, isn't dark, it? Dark, bassy. Kind of farts a little bit out there, but that's. Nice, really nice. Uh, okay, let's try channel two with a bit of humbugger. It's, yeah, it's last. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much for me. Let's have a look at the see just a bit of a... I'm sensing chords all over the place. Yeah, it's... it's nice. It's no, nice. I'm, I, I, I have to say, it's not my favorite. It's but my it's favorite nice. gain sound. 
Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah, may yeah, maybe. If you like that, I thought that's... I mean, no. Magneton is my favorite gain amp, gain right, tone. Okay. And clean tone, probably the the Imperial. Funny, but isn't it? I mean, I I don't dislike I, any of them. No, no, exactly. I would have... I don't know, I man. would say, if anything, for me, the Magnetone and the Princeton are epic at doing the one thing that they're epic at doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very British sounding little 112, very American vintage sounding. So those clean. are the two you need, basically. Yeah. Do you know what's a shout? <laughs> if you literally had two amps, you're going to AB switch between them. You could do a lot worse than the Magnetone and the Absolutely. Princeton. Absolutely. I kind of feel that, I mean, the Hook and the Hampstead, I like those oversized combos. They're, la you know, they've got the most power out of all of them. Big sounding. I liked the Hook's drive sound. But I, yeah. I think for me, the one that would tick all my boxes would be the Imperial. I think, I think you're right there. I mean, I think that, that because it's got, for me, the, the more authentic sound, mm -hmm. that word is, you know, but as it's more authentic where the Hampstead does loads of things super well, but it's got this modern kind of thing, which personally, I'm, I'm not, I, I need a little bit sort of, mm. it's too, almost too, too perfect. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, yeah. it's an amazing amp and the way it's built and the way it's all put together, it's, it's incredible. But I like a little bit of imperfection. Like that's why I, you know, work with you. you well, know. this is very true. Thanks you know. for saying. It, it, it builds character and stuff. Uh, doesn't yeah, it? <laughs> the, I mean, there there was never going to be a bad, not a bad amp out no. of the five of these. No. I mean, it's it's like if if, you're, if 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 you've watched this and you're going, oh, the one that really blew me away was you know whichever. Yeah. Then great. You yeah. Know, it's like they're beautifully made. Um, the, the, these two overall for 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 all of this stuff, I think do best. That one and that for, one for me. Yes, yeah, great. Yeah. I mean, like I said I. I I would, I did like that magnet. Oh, we can't make up our mind, man. But I'll have it anyway. Let, let's jam out. Yeah, let's I'll just take jam any out. of these. Um, yeah, I'm happy to use this because it sounds great. I'll rock out on that. Fine. There we go. Please like right. and subscribe. Yeah, sorry if this was a long video. But, don't you say know. sorry. They can okay. watch to the end if they don't want. I don't care if this was a long video. Exactly. I'm not sorry. Yeah, because uh, we had fun. Yes, we did. And right. we had fun. We had seasons in the sun.